Hello everyone, I hope everyone's doing well. I am going to do a reading, my first uh, of many to come, hopefully. This is something that I am going to continue to, to do as it's helping me deal with what I'm going through. And I just wanted to share with you all, I hope you all enjoy. This is a reading from a personal story that I just wrote for my class. <clears throat> it's called Learning a New Way. This is a literacy narrative about a significant event that has occurred in my life where I was forced or had to learn a new way um, or a new, a new skill. So I chose to write about my time at the blind school and a very important instructor of mine named Joe. <clears throat> Learning a New Way by Julian Morales. The sounds of high heels tapping the ground echoed loudly over the yelping intercom, telling passengers, take out all electronic devices before placing your bags on the conveyor belt, was all I can hear as we entered the airport. My head was spinning, my stomach turning, and all I could think about was not wanting to board this flight. The airport attendant grabbed me by the elbow and sat me in a wheelchair, making me feel less than a man and a little angry, causing me to scowl at him. After a short trip in the elevator and a ride to the gate, the attendant handed me over to the flight attendant, and off I went to Austin, Texas, to learn a new way to live at Chris Cole School for the Blind. Little did I know, but this school and the staff would teach me so much more than braille and mobility skills. What I learned is priceless and has had a lasting influence on how I view life. It had been three depressing years since I had lost most of my eyesight, and at this point found myself tired of living with my blindness. Those years were full of many nights of praying not to wake up the next morning as I fell asleep night after night. My entire life had been turned upside down. The career that I loved and had worked so hard to obtain was gone. My freedom stripped away, all in the blink of an eye. Going out in public became a hard task that I frankly gave up on. Staying home, doing drugs became my haven. Away from the stares, comments, and awkward interactions. I had hit rock bottom with a desire to stay there, with no plan. The only way out was to go to Chris Cole and learn life skills, braille, how to use a computer, how to use my phone, and finally, my cane and mobility. My mobility classes consisted of learning to use my hearing and different styles of cane tips. Also, learning to cross streets and ride the city bus or train to find locations and learn the numeric system for the street addresses. This class also included days where my instructor would drop me off at a certain place, asking me to meet him back at the school, leaving me to fend for myself. My hearing, along with my cane and skills that my instructor Joe was teaching me, gave me the freedom to move around with confidence once again. I may not be able to tell you what Austin or my instructor Joe looked like, but I can tell you the city is loud. I remember walking by the Capitol building and hearing people's voices shouting over bullhorns, the rattle of the paper signs they held being blown by the wind, cars honking as they drove by the loud protesters. The days my assignments took me near 6th Street, I could hear the street musicians and the loud music coming out the front door from every bar alongside the joyous laughs of their patrons all the while listening to Joe's soft baritone voice instructing my every move. There were times I fell and got a love tap from a car or two in the parking lot of a Walmart or H-E-B, making my fear grow stronger and confidence shrink once again with every incident. Joe would explain that it was okay to be scared, but what I needed to learn was to be brave and face this fear head on every day. My disease was not going away anytime soon. 
Other assignments were grocery shopping, where we had to type our shopping list with Braille embossers, making our way to the grocery store and do the shopping. Then, make it to campus before our home skills class began, where we would cook what we purchased, all while being blindfolded with a gigantic hard plastic sleep shade that was very uncomfortable in the summer heat. One muggy summer afternoon, I was taking... I was tasked with grocery shopping and cooking for my home skills class, so I typed out my list on the embosser, and off I went to catch the bus. Anger and doubt set in. I did not feel that I was ready to go out on my own. But Joe's words ran through my head. Be brave and use that fear to push you forward. That was all I could think of besides the smell of urine on the bus and the loud engine growling every time the driver accelerated. H-E-B, North Austin, boomed in a digital voice over the speaker, letting me know this was my stop. I stood up, distracted and in my thoughts, feeling everyone's stares as I made my way off, making loud clacking sounds as my cane hit everything in sight. Feeling embarrassed and angry, I stuck my cane in front of me to feel for the landmark I knew was there from previous classes where Joe had accompanied me. Sweeping my cane from side to side, feeling nothing, I began to panic. Remembering what Joe had taught me, I stopped to listen for a clue. But the embarrassment, combined with doubt, would not allow me to focus on any sounds. All I could hear was a voice in my head telling me how stupid I was, and in a fit of rage, I threw my cane, all while yelling and cussing myself out, doubting even more that I would be able to live this way. Dropping to my knees, feeling the hot pavement touching my skin, I wept, tears and sweat making my sleep shade damp where it met my face. My body shaking from the anger I felt, roaring inside me like a fire in a steam engine, of a locomotive traveling uphill. Get up. Here's your cane, said Joe, as he helped me up, handing me my cane. As I stood, he walked me over to the bench at the bus stop, and we sat for a while in silence while I composed myself. The sound of vehicles driving by while we just sat there waiting for the next bus. A part of me died that day, that piece of me that hoped to live a normal life. Reality set in, and the lesson learned that day, combined with everything I had been learning the past few months, was that this was not going to be easy. But life, life could be possible if I chose it. Joe finally spoke, saying, Julian, you have to learn to see the world in a different way, or you will forever be miserable. I did not comprehend what Joe was saying that day, but as time went on, I began to understand what Joe meant that day while sitting on that bench. After nine very emotional months of long walks, days filled with me yelling at the blank computer monitor, and many tears of frustration and joy, I graduated Chris Cole School for the Blind. I left there with confidence and literacy in Braille. However, Joe's words of wisdom taught me the greatest lesson one should learn. All of the skills that I had just learned would be of no use if not for those words that Joe spoke that day at the bus stop. Blind School taught me skills to get by in life. But Joe's words pushed me to truly see the world in a special way. With the eyes of my heart, learning a new way to live.